Michael Riedel from the New York Post, and welcome to Name Check. I'm very happy to have with me this afternoon an up-and-coming, they say, English actor, Augustus Prue, who is that, starring is in... Is that right? That's you, up-and-coming. I'm up-and-coming. So, so rise, oh, Augustus, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Do the interview from up-and-coming. Up there. Come. Right. there we go, Perfect. I'm here. Uh, Augustus <laughs> is starring in a new movie called Copperhead. It's the third film in director Ron Maxwell's uh, trilogy of the Civil War, which also included Gettysburg and Gods and Generals. And I'm very happy that uh, Augustus joins us today on Name Check. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, so give us uh, a little history lesson, if you would. And what exactly does the term Copperhead mean? Now, the Copperheads were the Northern Democrats who had Southern sympathies. They weren't strictly pro-slavery, but they wanted the Constitution to remain as it was. They didn't mm -hmm. want the Civil War, mm -hmm. essentially. They, they uh, believed in the kind of the, the Union and, and the, the Constitution as it was. Um, which perhaps is slightly naive if we if we look at it retrospectively, but again, hindsight is always a blessing. Isn't were it? they pacifists too? Were they anti-war? Um, they were anti-war. <laughs> yes, uh, they were indeed anti-war. That was their whole thing. They were, and they. It's difficult because you know, with the passage of time, you 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 have this idea of the, you know, the South being bad and the North being good, and it's far more convoluted than that. There's so many different differing opinions, um, and I think what they what they what they thought was. You know, you had the trade treaties, and they, the, the slave trade was was on its way out. Mm -hmm. And their their uh, kind of rationale was that you could abolish slavery without having to to pit man against man. Right. And they felt like it was incredibly detrimental for the union. And I think they genuinely feared, from a quite a real place, um, of what would happen to America as a as a kind of a, an emerging nation if, if you would, were to force this war on people. Respect, particularly with conscription, which 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 came about around sixty three, which had never really happened before. Right, but it then makes uh, makes them makes your character in the play uh, sort of ostracized and <coughs> isolated from, 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 from the people that he's living with in the north and this is the battle that you have. Absolutely my character Nye Nye Hagedorn he was a uh, the term pacifist wouldn't have existed then, but he, this is what he was. His father was a, a sort of an aggressive abolitionist um, and who, who kind of, in 1860, was, was uh, very much on his own in this village. And as the passage of time progressed, um, and uh, the sort of it's set in upstate New York, and upstate New York actually, actually went, uh, went Republican by the end, um, uh, as everyone kind of jumped on board with, this, with the abolition, and, and you know, war is a very smart way of, of, of binding people together. I think. Um, Where in upstate New York is it? Is it set? Well, it's set in a place called Four Corners, which yeah. uh, allegedly is kind of is fictional, but it's sort of you know we're going up to Rochester kind of. Yeah, way. that's where I'm from. Actually. Uh, is that right? Yeah, is I'm that from right? New York. And in fact, in the town I grew up in, uh, several of the older houses in the town of Geneseo, New York, still have the remains of. Um, um, sellers that were part of the Underground Railroad oh when they were bringing wow, the slaves is, up from uh, from the South. That is fascinating. Yeah, yeah. It's a really incredible period of history, actually. Uh, Bill Kaufman is a man, man who wrote it. Uh, he's also from Rochester. For me, it's very interesting with the accent because hmm. you guys up there have a very specific accent, which is a little flat. It's, it's a little, little flat. flat. That kind of uh, hot lobster. <laughs> we were right, told hot lobster. All like, the pop. Uh, all the back and felt pop? like that. Right. Is that what you had to do? Uh, so that, that was our practices like that. You have to look at like a train, like a dummy. It's a fast, it doesn't exist anymore, really. It's, no, it's, it's, no, it's, a dying it's, it's been sort of more mid mid Atlanticized, I guess. It has, is it not? Yes, it has. Now, I imagine you plunged into all the historical research. What, because there are many Civil War buffs out there, what books did you uh, recommend? Anything that jumps to mind that you would? Um, to be honest, we did Ron, Ma Ron Maxwell was my, was my entrance into the Civil War. He, he sat us down. He's a Civil War He's buff. a Civil War buff. There is, there is nothing that he does not know about the Civil War. What was important for him was, was, was not so much the politics of it, weirdly, because you know, the whole point of this, of this village is it's very isolated. Mm -hmm. you know, they don't know much about the Civil War. And the point of the movie is that these people um, were ripped apart by something that they don't really understand. They were ripped apart by an abstraction. Mm. Um, and so what was important for us was to learn about the kind of the rural nature of, of, of politics at the time and, and, and the secret vote didn't even exist then, for instance. It was very, you know, politics were very much, it was more about the, the electoral process mm -hmm. um, rather than, than what had happened because most people didn't know at the right. time, you know. Um, Antietam had only happened, it happened in the course of the movie. It was only then that people started to realize what they had on their hands. Mm -hmm. but upstate New York was relatively unaffected by the Civil War until relatively late in the game, um, which is what was very, very, very fascinating. Um, so it was a little bit sort of a far afield from the from the from the battles. Completely. Although, removed. as we say, the uh, abolition there's a, there's a very strong abolitionist movement. Vis absolutely, vociferous. It's actually the upstate New York. Totally, the, the source mm -hmm. of it, um, which is perhaps why the Copperheads were were sort of so um, aggressively pro South. Because there's a there's a line in the Abner Beach the main character played by Benny Campbell says, you know, uh, he says, I ain't no slave. I've never even seen a slave. 
Yeah. You know, so these people were very much removed from this situation. So that was the kind of the key for Rom was was that not to get by sounds ridiculous, not to get bogged down in, you know, who said what at the time, you know, was it McClellan, you know, was it Robert Lee, like who who was in charge of the war at the time. That for these characters was irrelevant. They, wouldn't know anything about they it. didn't know. Yeah. So Rom was actually very key key keen about that and what we wanted to create was a sort of sense of community, something that felt um, true to the time. Right. Um, and but, but it's also interesting though, because uh, when you think about war Ulti ultimately, eventually, war always impinges on people somehow, some way, mm. as it does here, as mm -hmm. it rips this uh, community It does, it is the, the crux of the matter, yeah. yeah. You know, eventually the war does catch up with these people, and politics do play a part. People have a tendency to get very tribal about things, um, and I think that's possibly the message of the movie, if there was a message of the movie. The wonderful thing about Copperhead is, is you know, Ron is, doesn't pander to the audience. He doesn't tell you this is the goodie, this is the baddie. You know, this is a story about humans, and humans are, um, one thing I know about humans, they are incredibly uh, contradictory. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, there is no clear cut black and white. Face of all this madness, what happened to love thy neighbor? The movie is called uh, Copperhead, and it's out on uh, June 28th, I believe, correct? Correct. Great. Augustus Prue, thanks a lot for being my guest on Name Check.